Hello and welcome to Coding, where we teach you coding and gaming with some fun. So let's begin. So I'll sign in with my code.org account. Today I'll teach you how to make a space if you took me. So we'll click on create. We'll move to game lab. create some space and then move to animation tab we click on add animation on the animation we'll go to the course and use I'll use this one and I'll move it space Then go on to go and I'll Instead of 50, we write 150. Okay, so our uh, second element is ready. Now we we'll write the we we'll make the third element. So again, enemy one, then just only three, and I instead of 50, we have two. Again, enemy four, we we'll make four enemies. Yes. Now we go back. We let go.
So you can see we have created two groups. Now we'll also create edge tiles, which means edges will act as tiles. Okay. So we have got this ready. Now we'll write background white. Or you can get it through the event. So first let's turn the project and see. So you can see the background is there, there are four enemies and the no player. So okay, now everything is fine. Now, now we'll create one conditional if conditional statement where we get key down, up arrow, spaceship, dot y is equal to spaceship. Minus ten. We will copy this. Now we are using code.org platform. Okay. So. We keep it Y and U and instead of up we write down and uh, instead of minus we get plus. Now instead of up we write R I P H T right and uh, It is working fine, but we don't need the X and Y movements, right? So we we'll not. This is for your general information. You can create something different than me. This is just a small tutorial. Of course, imagination first. So. Now. I will create an enemy group. We have created it above, I have created a bullet group. Okay. So then I will create a bullet group. Got this touching. And then one. So I have made it. Now I'll copy it for the rest of the enemies. So first I put the enemy one. Now I'll turn one to two. Then three. Then four. Similarly, we do this for this one. Four. Three. And so now we have done it. Now, now we write spawn bullet open and close in places in spaceship. This spell semicolon should be outside. Now we we'll close it. So we have closed the braces, curly braces. Now we have function 
on bullets. Inside which I have to, I'll write if world dot frame count modulus by then it should happen that bullet is equal to create strike. Over here, we let say ship.x because we wanted to start from the spaceship, so nearly spaceship.y. Now, we will go to the animation tab and we will add another animation where we will use in play. Uh, or we'll uh, put all cutter tools and type O R E O. So I've got an O ruby. Ruby basically. I'll change it to bullet. I set also look like a bullet. So we'll make this our bullet in the game. No one will know it. So let's see bullet set animation. Bullet and colon. Bullet dot tail equal to zero point one. So you can see the bullet is too small over here, right? So we'll make it 0.5. Let's try it again. Yeah, the size is too big. So we'll make it 0.3. Yeah, that's the perfect size of the bullet. We have got our bullet. Now we don't want it to be seen without any function, okay? So we we'll write bullet of visible equal to a right pod. We we'll give a lifetime to bullet after which it will die. conditional statement inside a conditional statement bullet dot visible is equal to true bullet dot x is equal to spaceship dot x and colon bullet dot y is equal to spaceship Dot velocity x is equal to pi. Now again a conditional statement within which bullet dot x is more than 400. If such, then bullet dot destroy. Just the last part is left. So after this, I will flip the group. So add, 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 Bullet is not visible, so we'll do one thing. We'll change 
the background to yellow. Yes, everything is fine, right? Now after changing the background, you check the thing. I'll delete it just to reduce it. Now rename it. I'll give it spaceship shooter game. Okay. Now I've saved it. Uh, you when you click on share, you can double click on this link and copy. You will get it, uh, this link that you can copy and share or share it with your family and thank you this was all hope you liked our video don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos for our latest updates thank you and bye bye